Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Love. I hope everyone is doing great. In today's video, I will be discussing something really very important for someone who is looking to travel to Canada anytime soon. Could be next, uh, could be tomorrow, next week or in a few days. It is also for those people who have already booked a flight ticket or who are actually looking to book a flight ticket to Canada as I will be discussing about all the different flight restrictions currently going on in Canada, currently going on in India, between India to Canada in details in this video. So I've already made a video a few days ago about the air bubble contract, explaining what that air bubble contract is between India and Canada, and which is the best flight and the most eligible flight right now for students, permanent residents and other people to travel to Canada from India. So if you haven't checked out that video, I would recommend you guys go ahead and check out that video first and then come back to this video as then it will make a little bit more sense. In today's video, I will continue and I will be talking about it in details in more details as what happened is uh, that DGCA announced that the international travel ban will be extended till 30th of April now. So as we all know that there has been an international travel ban in India since last year. It was, uh, it was valid till 30th of March, but now they recently announced that these restrictions, the same restrictions have been extended till 30th of April and uh, it will remain till 30th of April. And after that, it's still not sure if it will continue or it will be removed. After this, what I did is I decided to give a call to eight or nine different airlines, which I will be telling you guys about in a, in a little bit. I called them. I discussed about these restrictions for students and for other people with Indian passports and what restrictions could they face if they book uh, the, their ticket with those airlines. And I asked them all the questions that you guys asked me in the comment sections and all those doubts uh, to clarify it with the, the airlines directly. And in today's video, I will be giving you all of those information with complete clarity. And by the end of the video, you guys uh, will have a better and a clear picture of what this new travel restriction and these flight restrictions basically are and it, hopefully it will help you decide which is the best flight ticket for you or if you've already booked a flight ticket then it will help you decide to what to do what not to do in the next steps so basically to give you a precise information i gave a call to nine different airlines which are as follows so i called air canada air india air france klm lufthansa emirates etihad qatar airways and KLM and I basically asked all of these airlines the same questions again and again uh, and what were these questions uh, I will let you know guys right now so first question that I asked is that if the Indian passport holders who are eligible and most likely the students or permanent residents are still allowed to travel with these airlines yes or no secondly if they're allowed is it necessary for them to take a direct flight or can they even take a layover flight to any other country the next question that I asked is, what if, uh, let's say, if a student books his own flight, would there, and in the future, the flight gets cancelled due to some reason, would the students or anyone who's traveling in these airlines will get a full refund, or how will they get notified about this, and what will happen? The next question that I asked them, that if there uh, is any special new restriction which is added and if there is any special document that students or permanent residents or anyone who's traveling to Canada will need to show uh, to the air to show at the airport at the Indian airport or at the airport where they, where they will be doing a layover and then I even asked them so since this rule is uh, extended till 30th of April so what can students and people expect after 30th of April if they have any information about it lastly I even asked them about special baggage allowances because many airlines have different additional baggage allowances for students and other benefits. I asked about it too and I will be giving you a clear picture of all of those for all the different airlines one by one. Lastly, I would also be discussing in this video and will be showing you guys the proofs of DMs of some students and some of my friends who booked flight tickets and who also called a few airlines and what their experience was and some of them who also got their flight cancelled, which airline was that. We will be discussing that as well and now let's go ahead and begin and talk about the different airlines. Okay. So the first airline that I called was Air Canada. The first question that I asked them was, uh, since the travel restrictions and the international travel ban in India has been extended till 30th of April. So I just wanted to confirm if students and other people who are like permanent residents who are exempt to travel to Canada, are they still allowed to book uh, flights with Air Canada? Or those who already have flights with Air Canada booked, are they still allowed to travel in Air Canada? Yes or no? They said yes. Air Canada is still under the air bubble agreement and students and other people who are exempt are still allowed. And then I asked them if it's necessary to book a direct flight 
flight or can they take a layover flight as well so they told me that uh, you can even book a layover flight but the important point here is that they do not guarantee that this country where you would be doing your layover uh, would allow you as an Indian passport holder or as a student to do your layover so it totally depends on you and it is your responsibility to make sure that you would be allowed uh, to do a layover in their country or not because every country has their own layover restrictions currently with the COVID-19 so it totally depends on you and that's why they told me that they recommend that uh, the person who is coming to Canada books a direct flight as that is currently the most convenient and the most safest way to travel right now and I personally would recommend you guys to do the same it might be a little difference of a few dollars but it will actually help you arrive Canada safely and you won't have any stress of any type of restrictions in any layover country and the next and I even asked them about the baggage policies so unfortunately they don't have any special baggage allowance for students they only allow currently two bags of 23 kgs one cabin bag and one personal item for any ticket and it doesn't matter if you're a student or not uh, the second airline that I called was Air India and yes, they are allowing students and other people who are currently exempt from travel restrictions to Canada. Uh, they are allowed to book uh, flights with Air India and they can come to Canada through Air India. They again said the same thing that they would prefer people to book a direct flight than a layover flight. And they also mentioned that according to their new rules and their new tweet, uh, you can only book a flight ticket with Air India through uh, through their own app or through directly with the airlines and not with a travel agent. That uh, that's what they recommend as well and yes Air India does have a special baggage allowance for students so if you're able to show a proof of your study permit or uh, your student visa and then yes you can carry three bags of 23 kgs instead of two bags and a personal item and, uh, and a hand handbag they even mentioned that they don't have any problems if you book a layover flight but again same thing it will depend upon you and it will uh, and it is your decision and you will have to make sure that the country where you would be doing the layover uh, is does do allow you to do the layover and does not have any more restrictions so again personally recommending I would recommend you to book a direct flight with Air India to be on the safer side and it has the least chances of getting cancelled for the month of March and for the month of April moving on to the third airline I called Air France when I called them they simply told me directly no that currently no one from India is allowed to travel in Air France to Canada or to any other destination because Air France is not in the air bubble agreement and they do not allow anyone traveling with Air France so don't book your tickets with Air France guys as Air France is completely out of the list. Next when I called Emirates uh, they mentioned that uh, for now for the month of March whoever is traveling in the month of March won't have any problems to have a layover in Dubai even if they're a student but from for the month of April they are not allowing or they're not accepting any bookings and they do not have any flights available on their database to book flights from India to Canada for students or for anyone and they mentioned that it could be because the flights are not available and secondly because of the air bubble arrangement now I know some students have already booked their flights for Emirates and have in the past have had safe travels without any complaints and that's what really confusing is that because when I call the agents they tell me that Emirates is not allowing but students still are able to travel so if you have traveled from Emirates uh, anytime soon like maybe a week ago guys drop down your experience so that others can see it too I will pin it down but from my call and from my experience from what I heard and from what they told me uh, they said that Emirates is not allowing any flight bookings for the month of April uh, due to this air bubble contract but if you still uh, want to reconfirm you can call yourselves with the Emirates have a, have a talk with them and see what they tell you because clearly they told me that they're not allowing students or anyone to book tickets with Emirates right now the next airline I called was KLM KLM said the same thing yes they are not allowing anyone currently to travel from India to Canada with their airlines again due to the travel uh, the air bubble arrangement and literally just like Air France KLM is out of the list too and you are not allowed to book flights with KLM to come to Canada the next airline that I called was Etihad so when I called the Etihad Airways the agent who picked up uh, she told me that currently there is no restriction for people travelers uh, and they can actually book flights with Etihad surprisingly and can come to Canada via Abu Dhabi 
They also have a special student allowance uh, for an extra baggage. So if you book your ticket with Etihad, you can even and you tell them that you're a student, you can get an extra baggage allowance of the third bag. And they told me there is no such restriction right now that you won't be allowed for a layover in Abu Dhabi. But they even told me that in case the rule changes for the month of April or anything, they would send emails to students or to other travelers who booked their tickets for cancellations. And in case that happens, they would be providing full refunds. And when they send you that email, they would be sharing all the details about how you can get refunds and everything for the Etihad ticket. And surprisingly, she did tell me that uh, I would recommend you guys to book from something which is actually currently allowed and which is not uh, too sketchy. For example, Etihad, she said that there are no travel restrictions that they could see on their database or on their files and people are able to book through Etihad. But if the rule changes at the last moment, then they would be emailing people about it. But for now, currently there are no restrictions so you can easily travel through Etihad via Abu Dhabi. The next airline that I called was Qatar Airways. So when I called Qatar Airways, they told me that for those people who already have an existing booking with Qatar, could be for the month of March or April, their flights would be allowed to go to Canada unless the flight gets canceled last minute and then they, the travelers would be emailed for the cancellation and would be shown the steps to get their refund. But for anyone who's looking to travel to Canada via Qatar Airways and haven't booked their tickets yet, they did tell me that for the new travelers, uh, you are not allowed to book a ticket with Qatar Airways for the month of April. Again, due to the travel restrictions with the uh, air in travel restrictions in India and the air bubble arrangement for India between India and Canada. And the agent told me that Qatar Airways is currently not accepting any new flight tickets for people. And I've heard from some people their flights have already been getting canceled for Qatar Airways. So guys, be aware about it. And I would recommend to avoid traveling with Qatar Airways as well. As they clearly told me due to restrictions, they're not accepting new tickets. And for the existing tickets, if you already have an existing ticket, your flight might happen, but it still has ch chances of getting canceled. Next, I called Lufthansa and uh, I even called them and I even checked on their website about the restrictions and the travel ban from India to Canada. It does mention that, they did mention that you are allowed to take a flight via Lufthansa till 27th of March like only till Germany and then you can take Air Canada or any other airline from Germany to Canada and that will be under the air bubble agreement till 27th of March after that currently you are not allowed to book a flight with Lufthansa 2 after 27th of March so they told me to either book a flight under the air bubble arrangement or wait after the after the month of April to see if Lufthansa will continue booking flights or not lastly i called turkish airlines and the agent who picked up he said me the same thing like the other airlines that currently due to the restrictions they are not accepting new tickets right now for anyone who has an existing ticket they can still try and travel with the airlines and the airlines will have to allow them to travel for those who have an existing booking but for those who are who is attempting to book a new ticket in the month of april you will not be allowed to book your ticket with turkish airlines as it is not under the air bubble agreement and you will only be allowed to book a ticket which is under the the air bubble agreement if you still have any more questions and clarifications you have to directly contact the uae embassy for the same which is again a big hassle so yeah that was all about the different airlines and what they told me on the call i told you guys i shared it with you exactly word by word what they told me and now moving on to what my friends have shared with me on their experience and i will be showing you their dms as well so as you can see on the right on the left side Oh, this guy texted me that he booked a ticket with Turkish Airlines and he already received a cancellation confirmation. He booked his ticket for 29th of April and it has already been cancelled. Again, I think it is because of the air bubble arrangement and Turkish Airlines is not currently allowing Indian passport holders to travel via Turkish Airlines to Canada. And then the next team, as you can see, I received from another friend. He told me that he even called K he even called KLM Air France and Lufthansa. And like you, as you can see, he they did tell him the same thing as they told me that currently people with Indian passports and students are not allowed to take a flight with these airlines as they're not a part of the air bubble agreement and there is also a special restriction in all the European cities or countries and um, that you're not allowed to do a layover in any European country so guys make sure to keep this point in mind and book your flight tickets accordingly if you already have an existing flight ticket for any of the airlines that I mentioned, first thing I would recommend you is to contact the airlines directly with the agent. I will make sure to leave down all the toll free numbers of all the different airlines below for you so you can choose your airline and contact them directly. But if you're looking to if you're looking to book a new ticket 
my personal suggestion to you after listening to all of these airlines and after all of my experience i would recommend you guys to either go for air canada or air india and preferably choose to go in a direct flight as that will be one of the that is currently the one of the safest ways to travel via air to canada and which has the least chances of having any problems or cancellations if you still want to go ahead and book from any other airline or you want to confirm i would first recommend you to guys go ahead and call them first and only then book your tickets and make sure you know all about your layovers and if you would be allowed for a layover or not and that was it for today's video guys i do hope you find this video useful and helpful and i would really appreciate if you guys have any other experience other than what i said with the airlines guys drop down your experience and i would love to pin it for other viewers to see it so that everyone can have a better idea and i hope it was helpful to you guys please do leave a like if you find it helpful do subscribe to my channel be a part of my journey i will be sharing more and more updates on these flight tickets follow me on instagram as i will be sharing updates all these updates as well so yeah, uh, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Do drop down a comment if you have any questions and I will get back to all of you. Till then guys, take care. See you in the next video. Bye.